Good Thursday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Conversation Daddy News. Glad you all could be with us. Well, we made it over the hump, and we're in the home stretch tour at the weekend. Of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Thursday. I have a message from my book, Worry That You Used to Live By, and in today's entertainment spotlight, you're part of my conversation with actress, singer, and advocate Gloria Rubin. You don't want to miss that. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Thursday headlines. In Mississippi news, six former Mississippi law officers sentenced in state court for torture of two black men. Already sentenced to many years in federal prison, six white former Mississippi law enforcement officers who pleaded guilty to a long list of state and federal charges for torturing two black men were sentenced Wednesday in state court. The state sentences did not add time to the federal prison terms the defendants had already received, but the victim supporters held the years-long sentences, saying they took on unique importance in Mississippi, where local residents saw echoes of the state's history of racist atrocities by people in authority. The six former police officers who attacked Michael Corey Jenkins and Eddie Terrell Parker in January 2023 were sentenced last month to federal prison terms ranging from 10 to 40 years. U.S. District Judge Tom Lee called their actions egregious and despicable as he gave sentences near the top of the federal guidelines to five of the six men. Rankin County Circuit Judge Steve Ratcliffe on Wednesday gave the men years-long state sentences that were shorter than the amount of time in federal prison they had already received, but longer than what state prosecutors had recommended. Time served for the state convictions were run concurrently or at the same time as the federal sentences, and the men will serve their time in federal penitentiaries. After the hearing, an attorney representing Jenkins and Parker celebrated that the former law officers were held accountable in the same courthouse where they had testified against people. They all had to come and appear in a courtroom where they have created much mischief, the attorney said. In this courtroom and in this courthouse, they have been given credibility to their statements, but today was dramatically different. Today the judge in this circuit county court has given out justice. The attorney has said the state criminal sentencing is important because historically the state of Mississippi has lagged behind or ignored racial crimes and police brutality against blacks. He applauded Radcliffe's decision to reject state prosecutors' recommendations for shorter sentences on the state charges. In national news, Biden administration sets first ever limits on forever chemicals in drinking water, says the Associated Press. The Biden administration on Wednesday finalized strict limits on certain so-called forever chemicals in drinking water that will require utilities to reduce them to the lowest level they can be reliably measured. Officials say this will reduce exposure for 100 million people and help prevent thousands of illnesses, including cancers. The rule is the first national drinking water limit on toxic PFAs, which are widespread and long-lasting in the environment. Health advocates praise the Environmental Protection Agency for not backing away from tough limits the agency proposed last year, but water utilities took issue with the rule, saying treatment systems are expensive to install and that customers will end up paying more for water. Water providers are entering a new era with significant additional health standards that the EPA says will make tap water safer for millions of consumers, a Biden administration priority. The agency has also proposed forcing utilities to remove dangerous lead pipes. In entertainment news, Luke Combs leads the 2024 ACM Award nominations, followed by Morgan Whalen and Megan Maroney. Luke Combs leads the nominees for the 2024 Academy of Country Music Awards with eight nods to his name. It was announced this week. For a fifth year in a row, he's up for both Male Artist of the Year and the Top Prize Entertainer of the Year. The 59th Annual ACM Awards will take place on May 16th at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas, just north of Dallas. Combs' eight nominations includes a first-time nomination for Tracy Chapman. His cover of her fast car is up for Song of the Year, a category that recognizes songwriters and publishers in addition to artists. Last year, Chapman's 1988 song won Song of the Year at the Country Music Awards for Combs' cover, making her the first black songwriter to win in the category. At the 2024 ACM Awards, Megan Maroney and Morgan Whalen closely follow Combs' nominations with six each, while Cody Johnson, Chris Stapleton, and Lainey Wilson are tied with five. And finally, in business news, higher gas and rents keep U.S. inflation elevated, likely delaying Fed rate cuts, says the Associated Press. Consumer inflation remained persistently high last month, boosted by gas, rents, auto insurance, and other items, the government said Wednesday in a report that will likely give pause to the Fed Reserve as it considers how often or even whether to cut interest rates this year. 
prices outside the volatile food and energy categories rose 0.4% from February to March, the same accelerated pace as in the previous month. Measured from a year earlier, these core prices are up 3.8%, unchanged from the year-over-year -year rise in February. The Fed closely tracks core prices because they tend to provide a good read of where inflation is heading. Cyrus Webb, Conversations with Daily News. It's some time for a message from my book, Words That Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good Thursday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Words That Choose to Live By. There's absolutely nothing wrong with reflecting on the past, as long as you use it to become better. Your best days are not behind you. They are still ahead, waiting on you to live them. Have an amazing Thursday. We are part of my conversation coming up with Gloria Rubin in today's Entertainment Spotlight. Stay with us. You're listening to Conversation Daddy News. For Conversation and Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with Entertainment Spotlight. Singer, actress, and advocate Gloria Rubin joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about what it's been like for her to use her public platform to raise awareness about issues that matter to her. Here's a bit of our conversation. Gloria, thank you again for the time. Really do appreciate you stopping by. Cyrus, thank you so very much for this opportunity for me to share my experience with Beyonce and my excitement over my partnership with Estellas to get the word out. I'm so thrilled that I can share this with your with your audience. Well, if you don't mind, Gloria, let's start there because as I mentioned, when we think about you, we do think about all of your, your accolades that you've been able to have in your career, but you have been very intentional about using your platform to talk about things that for some people, you know, are very difficult to discuss. And then of course, when we're talking about menopause or menopausal journey, that's something that definitely not everyone has been open about what was it that made you want to be able to share this, Gloria, with the world and let people know what's helped you? Well, the first thing that you just mentioned about there being a little bit of, seems like a little bit of shame or stigma or embarrassment about a very natural process that every woman goes through in this process being menopause. And I knew that I wanted to use my platform to share my experience about a treatment, a hormone-free, FDA-approved treatment called Bioza which is specifically for moderate to severe hot flashes and night sweats due to menopause. I started to experience that natural process of menopause about six years ago. My hot flash started to increase in its frequency and severity and began to become disruptive personally and professionally. And then a year ago, I saw a commercial for Vioza. And I learned, again, that it's FDA-approved and hormone-free, a hormone-free treatment option. And for me, hormone-free was important. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. I'll be back to on tomorrow to wrap up this week. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let us go make today amazing. Take care.